The young people that we work with often need to learn a lot of different life skills. When we take sort of into account the trauma that they've experienced, they may not have been able to learn or watch someone doing a lot of the basic things that we would do every day. It could be something from very simple as, you know, budgeting, being able to pay your bills, um, being able to purchase a my key, being able to do your shopping and, and have still money left over to, you know, to, to live. A lot of young people that I've worked with don't have ID. So starting at the basics of actually accessing ID, um, which is needed in most application processes. Even filling out forms, which prevents someone from applying for a job, applying for a house. Even accessing internet is so frustrating for them that they feel left behind by the system. How to have safe relationships, how to have a fight with someone and then repair it. When to know, no, that's not okay. It's also around how to think about your future and your goals. What, what do you want to do for work? What do you want to do um, in terms of your study? How to think about what strengths and skills do you have and what kind of job that that might lead to. So having that holistic approach when we work with young people that are homeless will just change not only I think the outcomes, but how we can support and how we can help these young people to live to their potential.